Hi, so I'm here to do a really, really quick, fun book haul. It's only five books. The reason why I'm doing this though is more so to sort of hold myself accountable because I want this to be my last haul for the year and for a while. I mean haul not just in terms of videos but like in terms of just buying books in general because I have just been buying too many books <laughs> as of recent. So I feel like I want to go on a book buying ban after this and once I go on that book buying ban, I want to focus on reading some of the books on my immediate TBR. I actually plan on making a video soon on the overconsumption of books, not just the overbuying of books, but the sort of like fast reading and people reading many books, like 50 books a month and that kind of stuff. I actually made a community post about it because I wanted to hear everybody's thoughts to include other people's opinions in the videos. And you all have shared such incredible... Close down drive. Y'all have shared such incredible and thoughtful opinions in that community post. So if you haven't shared your thoughts already, please feel free to do so. And you could do it in the comments of this video if you don't want to go find the community post. But anyways, let's talk about the five books that I recently got that I'm very excited for. And yeah, and then we'll be not talking about books and doing book hauls after this. For a while at least. So the first book I have at the top of the pile here, this is called My Friends by Hisham Matar. This one is about Khaled and Mustafa who meet at a university in Edinburgh and they are two Libyan 18 year olds expecting to return home after their studies. In a moment of recklessness and courage, they travel to London to join the demonstration in front of the Libyan embassy. Their lives are forever changed by what happens after that. Over the years that follow, Khaled, Mustafa and their friend Hossam, a writer, are bound together by their shared history. So I've never really read much about Libya or anything from Libyan authors before. I know that Hisham Matar is very well known for his book The Return and this one which recently came out actually was long listed for the Booker Prize but it didn't make the short list which a lot of people seem to have been quite shocked by because this was like one of the books I was like expected to win and I mean hey you know I'm very excited to read this despite the fact that it's not going to win. I was very drawn to it when I first heard about it and when I heard other people talk about it so I would like to read it and even though it's long it does seem like it's going to be a quick read, really short chapters, big fonts so I think I might want to tackle this this weekend. How much, how much thing go finish in the dryer? Anyways we have a book that I am most excited for. This is The Ministry of Utmost Happiness by Arundhati Roy. So I read Azadi earlier this year which is one of her non-fiction books and in that book she talks about writing fiction and she reflects a lot on the Ministry of Utmost Happiness and she sold me on it. This is a story about an intersex Shia Muslim Hydra by the name of Anjum who sets up like a sort of like makeshift home for the rejects of society in an Indian graveyard. It's set around the time or within the context of the Gujarati massacre which happened against Indian Muslims in the early 2000s I want to say and I guess it's meant to be a sort of like overall commentary on the rise of right-wing nationalist Hindutva sentiment in India um, and politics. Very curious to read this book and see what it's all about. I I'm just very drawn to the idea of reading about a Muslim hijra. That sounds just fascinating to me and so, you know, subversive. So very excited for this one. I also I mentioned this one a couple times already. This is The Lost Love Songs of Boise Singh by Ingrid Passad. This is a book, a historical fiction novel that takes place here in Trinidad and it is following uh, the perspective of four women in the 1940s who were all the lovers of Boise Singh. Now Boise Singh was actually a real person. He was a real serial killer from Trinidad in the 1940s and so I guess this is sort of like a novelization of his life through the perspective of these women who were in love with him. I don't know if the women themselves were real or if they are fictitious as well but I guess as I get into the book I'll probably do a little bit more research and maybe she talks about it in the author's note or something so. And just today I went to the store and I picked up a couple of books. This one because it was on discount like very cheap and I decided to just get it because it sounds interesting. It's called Sketcher by Roland Watson Grant and it says nine-year-old Skid Beaumont's family is stuck in the mud following his father's decision to relocate and build a new home based on a drunken vision that New Orleans would rapidly expand eastwards to the wetlands as a result of the 70s oil boom. Skid and his brothers grow up in a swampy area of Louisiana. So it's said like in the 1980s and it says as things on the home front get more complicated, Skid learns of his mother's alleged magical powers, this is what it told me, and vaguely remembers some eerie stories surrounding his older brother Freako. I don't know if this is one I want to read anytime soon so I may put 
this in my long-term TBR, um, which is a whole other thing. I'll talk about that one day. But I am still very intrigued uh, to see what this is about nonetheless. The last book I have to talk about is one that I've been eyeing for a while and I just decided to get it. It's an anthology, like a huge anthology. It's called The New Daughters of Africa, which was edited by Margaret Bub. Busby, I was going to say Bubsy. <laughs> and it says it showcases the work of 200 women writers of African descent, celebrates their contributions to literature and international culture, and charts a literary landscape like never before. And I think this is just a collection of short stories, short essays, um, things that the authors would have published elsewhere. Some of them, I guess, may have written original pieces for this collection as well. And... I think they even have like excerpts from books, from bigger books, and it also kind of like spans like, uh, you know, from the 19, starting off like pre-1900s and then moving into like the 1990s, the, I don't know if it goes up to the 21st century, but either way, it sounds really, really fascinating. Uh, what sold me on it is I was going through um, the like t content and there are a lot of authors in here who I've either read from or who I'm very interested in reading. So for example, there's pieces in here by Lisa Allen Agostini, by Roxane Gay, by Nnedi Okorafor. There's also pieces in here by authors who I really want to read like Ayobami Adebayo and uh, Zadie Smith. Yasmin Abdelmajid as well is in here, Karen Lord, um, just a bunch of really interesting authors who I've either read or would like to read so I am excited for this one I'm not going to read this in one go I'm not even sure if I'll ever read this full thing fully but this is one of those books that's more like a reference book if I want to just read uh, a one-off short story or essay or if I want to reference something I think this would be a really good book to get into so these are the books that I've purchased recently and these are the last few books that I'll be buying for hopefully a while. I'd love to know if you've read any of these books or authors and if you enjoyed them. That being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and until next time, inshallah, keep reading.